Okay, today we're going to take apart this Brother HL1850 printer. This thing is 18 years old. I'm going to use this to harvest a laser unit. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to have to open up the unit. Make sure I can get it. Hang on a second. I'll take out the tray first. I'm going to be able to open it. That's our toner. Now, let's take off the screws and open it up. Here's my laser module and the wires connecting it up. Muffin fan. Here's some great little ferrite toroids. So we'll take this out. There's, it looks like a laser driver board right there. Laser module. Right there. Here's the connectors for the laser. Take the laser out. And here's the laser diode with the driver circuitry. So here's all the stuff that I obtained from the laser printer. You can see all kinds of things, including stepper motors, power supplies, uh, ferrite toroids, uh, various types of steel rods, various types of connectors and wires, different types of driver boards, including laser driver board, an infrared laser module. So folks, um, we finally extracted the infrared laser diode out of the brother printer which I took apart and what I did is I here's the here's the um, laser diode I wired it up I had to figure out what the terminals were what the connections were by basically trial and error and also checking the um, internet but I mounted it in this heat sink here and screwed it tightly down and then wired it up as you can see here and the, um, the these these devices are very very current sensitive so it's easy to destroy these by just connecting them directly to a, a switching power supply they'll just blow instantly so you need a current limited source in order to run these things and they typically run anything from about two volts up to about six volts and um, Finding out the right voltage for this particular one, since it has no markings on it, was kind of trial and error. So what I did was I put a um, standard uh, driver circuit. This uses an LM317, which is wired as a current limiter. And then I slowly up the voltage using a adjustable butt converter, which you can, you can uh, do anything from about two volts up with this one. And this is just connected to a regular wall outlet. And I looked um, at the output of the diode using this phone, which can see infrared light. With the, with the naked eye, you can't see the infrared to find the right voltage. So this was entirely trial and error. And this is how it's wired. So basically your output to the diode is here and the terminals, so the case of the diode is, the laser diode is negative, and the left terminal, looking at the back of it, looking at the bottom of it, is positive, and one of the other terminals is not connected. And so you use this basic diagram, uh, this wiring diagram, to come up with your driver for this. 
and I'm using a 10 microfarad uh, tantalum capacitor. You can put more smoothing capacitors if you want, but I just decided to just try it out the way this is, the way this is wired. And your 317, uh, LM317 voltage regulator, you can buy these things um, from any of the common electronics supply um, online stores, or you can get them off of eBay. So here, I just stuck everything in a breadboard. So here's my variable one ohm resistor. Here's my 5.1 ohm resistor. And you, I can turn this until I get an optimal amount of current, which won't burn the diode out. So we're gonna test it, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna test it by turning it on, and then we're gonna look, look at it directly with this phone. And you should see light, and to, to my eyes, if I was looking at that directly, which I wouldn't be doing because it would blind me, but to my eyes, I wouldn't see anything. And the only way you can safely look at these is with laser glasses. So we have the switching power supply, and I'm gonna turn, uh, turn off the light so you can see this a bit better. Hang on a second. So folks, I'm looking right down the barrel of the diode, and I'm gonna turn some power on, and you can just barely see some light, and that's invisible to the naked eye. So that is infrared light, which I believe is around 808 nanometers. So I'm gonna adjust the pot, the variable, um, the 100 ohm resistor, to see if I could max out the amount of brightness. So that's what I'm doing right now. So what I'm doing now is I'm increasing the amount of current going through it until I get maximal brightness. And you can see it's getting bright, brighter and brighter as I increase the amount of current at the same voltage flowing through the diode. This driver circuit seems to work pretty well. And the phone is, is sensitive to the infrared, but not that sensitive to it. And it's continuing to get brighter. So, um, okay, I'm gonna connect a focusing lens to it and I'm gonna see if we can actually burn something with it. Okay, now this is the uh, focusing lens which came with it. And I'm gonna adjust the focus by gluing this lens onto the output of that laser diode and trying to get it into focus. So let's begin. So what I have here, I've actually managed to somehow connect this lens up and get it into focus. And you can see it right here. So we're gonna test this out and I've already found the right focal length for it. And we're gonna see if we can burn something with it. So without further ado, let's begin. And I'm gonna see if I can burn these headphones. So I'm gonna get in real close here and I'm gonna turn this on. I've got my uh, protective laser goggles on, so let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna shine it on the plastic of these headphones and see if I can burn it. Yeah, look at that. It's really got enough power to actually burn the plastic. I don't want to totally mess up these headphones, but there's enough power from that little laser. It's probably around 20 to 100 milliwatts. Infrared laser from a laser printer. And you can burn with it. So there's the little burns in the plastic from an infrared laser, showing that these things are quite dangerous and can put out a lot of power. So this little device is awesome. A little bit hard to focus and hold, but it does work. And it takes a bit of experimentation to set this thing up right. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and please keep on experimenting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.